Okay, now we are going to start to demonstrate this temporal bone simulator, virtual temporal bone simulator. And then uh, it's a program, I already started the program. It runs on Windows, it doesn't run on, on Mac, and it does need a graphics, a video graphics car accelerator, uh, GeForce by NVIDIA or ATI. If you have another video card, it will not work. So you have to have a computer with uh, these two video graphic uh, cards. So we'll open the tutor file. There are tutor files in English, in Chinese and Portuguese. We'll open in English. The Portuguese one I, I, I helped. And then we'll have here all the steps that you should perform to do this virtual mastoidectomy. So we'll, we'll begin the surgery. And then here at the temporal bone, you can zoom in. Uh, you have the, the, the drills that you want to do, that you need to do highlighted here in green. So you need to start the surgery. But before we start the surgery, we can demonstrate a little bit the anatomy of the temporal bone. We can um, uh, remove the, the tympanic membrane and then we can go inside and then we can understand then the anatomy inside see the fuss is here uh, posterior pillar anterior pillar uh, we can rotate a little bit this temporal bone and then we can understand and see the anatomy that we have on the temporal bone in order to see uh, most of the structures that we want to see uh, in this uh, dissection so we have here the canal of the muscle facial nerve here in white sinus tympani will be in this position here so we have different types of anatomy lateral semicircular canal look at the tympanic isthmus here the area of the tympanic isthmus between the cochlearyform process and the equidistopedial joint the eustachian tube is here so you can have all the ventilation uh, roots here um, and you can understand a lot of things uh, the canals the vestibule you can see a lot of things in this simulator but we will start to do the surgery so this is the surgical position we will select the drill uh, we'll start with the biggest uh, drill and then we start drilling and then i will just complete this task remember i'm not using um a device, uh, a haptic device. I'm using the mouse, the traditional mouse of, of, of that I have here. So uh, it will not give me the force feedback of a traditional drill. Neither it will be, give me the, the force feedback of, of a haptic uh, device, just like a pen or something or, or some device that you can buy on those uh, electronic stores or. Amazon or uh, haptic devices is, is, is used for ar architecture for engineering they used to to draw uh, things and to develop things uh, but we can drill using the mouse uh, it's not going to be a very uh, perfect situation or a perfect um, I would say experience but for the residents, they will understand at least two things, the anatomy and the steps that they need to do in order to perform a safe and effective uh, mastoidectomy. As you can see, we can already see the mastoid air cells and we can do the dissection all the way until the mastoid tip, the dura of the middle fossa and the sigmoid sinus uh, posteriorly. Um, we can stop once in a while and then we can understand the drilling that we are doing and understand the cell cellularity of the mastoid and then we can drill again I will select the same uh, number seven drill and then drill a little bit more anteriorly to the region of the zygomatic arc and then I go a little bit more deep in order to try to find here the region of the antrum, of the mastoid antrum. So we are drilling here very carefully, not to destroy uh, things. Uh, lower 
drawing here the wall and then we can drill all the way inside uh, to go all the way inside to remove all this cellularity and remove all those things that we have here in order to reach the region of the antrum of the mastoid antrum in order to see the ossicles in order to see the lateral canal and in order to see uh, the communication between the mastoid air cell system and the middle ear so we can deepen a little bit we go saucerizing the mastoid here removing all the bones here that we have here creating this very good and big cavity in order to perform the safe and effective mastoidectomy so we go a little bit more deep it's also rising here the bone and going all the way and I will remove this superior part I am controlling the, the, the drill, the depthness of the drill with the wheel of the mouse and I'm controlling uh, the movements of the wheel with the mouse and pressing D to drill D is the button deep here that we need to press in order to drill so I'm drilling a little bit more deep I'm going all the way and then I will stop here just to see and to demonstrate to you that we can understand here all the anatomy and we can go more inside to see the cellularity and we already see the canal, the lateral canal and we already see here the ventilations uh, between the mastoid air cell I did already uh, a bigger approach uh, let's see and then at the end uh, we can understand the anatomy stopping and going pressing next and seeing the minutes that I used the amount of, 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 of bone I removed uh, in volume and, and all the accidents like dura collisions facial collisions in ear collisions tapes collision mothers or incus collisions so I can go to the next uh, phase uh, to see oh, stop oh, to, to see um, the the next uh, step that I need to do so this is step one then I can go to step two which is uh, saucerize a little bit more and then step three oh, which is uh, do a little bit more step four that is do a little bit more and then every step I have the regions that I need to drill and to remove step five uh, to saucerize a little bit more can you see to go to the antrum step six and then I need to do a little bit more to see the ossicles here so I would need to drill a little bit more here step seven so we would saucerize and skeletonize the dura and the sigmoid sinus. Step eight. So I would go all the way down here to the mastoid tip. Step nine. So I would uh, thin the posterior wall here. Step 10, which is to identify the facial nerve here, the position of the facial nerve lateral canal the position of the cord in order to create this the space to do the posterior tympanotomy step 11 is to do actually the posterior tympanotomy oops sorry and then uh, step 12 is to perform the posterior tympanotomy and to perform a cochleostomy here next to the uh, round window and the round window niche and then step 13 And step 14 is to identify the lateral semicircular canals, the lateral, the posterior semicircular canal, 
And then step 15 is to identify the superior CMC clock canal. So you have the superior, you have the lateral, you have the posterior canal, facial nerve here, the corda tympani here. And then step 16 to go to the endolymphatic sac, to the region of the endolymphatic sac to do a kind of a decompression of the endolymphatic sac. Step 17 to do the cochleostomy. Step 18 to remove the posterior wall here, like to do an open uh, canal wall down uh, mastoidectomy. Step 19 to identify a little bit more uh, the corda tympani and, and, and to skeletonize all this region. And step uh 20 which is no the 19 is the last the last one so you can have all the whole temporal bone here uh dissected virtually of course with this uh, virtual temporal bone simulator so hope you have enjoyed thank you very much